Well, hello. Welcome to another video. Thanks for joining us. Yes. Um, this might be a little bit long, apologies, but we want to explain what happened the other day. Yes. Um, as well as obviously give you our usual video. Well, that's it. Yes. So, welcome to our new subscribers. And uh, obviously welcome to everybody else who's uh, watching and subscribed and all the rest. Commenting and following us on the journey. Appreciate your time, guys. <laughs> yes. And... Uh, Thank you very much for your sympathies on the last little mini video yeah. with the comments and everything else like that. We really do appreciate it. It gives us a bit of a boost, actually. Yes, yeah. yeah. So I wanted to explain what actually happened when we took, took ourselves off to the notary the other day. Mm. As far as we were concerned, we had a fixer, a gentleman who was helping us fix the land and the property, and he had... The topography has been done. He had been to the notary himself the week before, and he was yep. there. And they drew up papers. Now this guy is uh, is also an, a government official. Works as a, an official, mm. and is sponsored by the government. And he's allowed to um, specify all this paperwork to draw up. He's like the pre-notary's mate. Yes. So, not yep. mate, but he, he does. This is what he does. He combines everything and gets it all set and does all the checks and makes sure everything is correct and then he passes it to the notary who then goes through it all and goes yes no that's correct that's not correct this is correct that's not correct yeah and um so uh, he went to the notary himself didn't he so he had an appointment with the notary himself he went there he spent an hour with him and the notary said oh the way to fix this is you we're going to do this sort of paperwork and he went okay so the notary drew up this paperwork. We were then called in a week later with our fixer and the notary, basically for this just to be read out loud to us and us sign it. Yes. The notary sat there, took one look at his own paperwork that he'd drawn up the week before and went, can't do this. No. And my fixer sat there just silent. And I'm like, what, what, do, you, what, what, <laughs> what do you mean you can't do this? Um, and the fixer sat there really quiet. I thought, what on earth is going on? Basically the notary just went, can't do this this won't work what we've got to do is we've got to go back to the way it used to be done and we've got to fix the land and then afterwards fix the buildings i'll come to that yes so so uh, what they were trying to do was in one fell swoop fix the land the borders and apparently the buildings aren't on the escritura so here the way the land registry works is there's a there's a plan and on the plan all these buildings are here in the writing they have to be specified as well and they're not in the writing so they don't exist so they're an illegal build allegedly uh, alleged illegal build are uh, annex which has got the outside kitchen outside bathroom outside laundry room isn't in the writing so it's illegal and our house so where we've got the bedroom upstairs isn't the cave down underneath it is and the corral is where we now have the kitchen but the upstairs bedroom isn't yes it's very very complicated yeah. um, and it was mentioned that this is how it is especially in rural communities and especially when it's passed down through generations um, in fact on going back to when we first purchased one of the people whose names was on one of the utilities I believe it was the water yes had actually been dead 50 years but they leave it in that name so they don't have to do paperwork and they just continue paying yeah. And that's acceptable, apparently. So it's made it very, very complicated, which made it complicated for some of the water actually put into our name as well. Exactly, it? yes, because we couldn't get in touch with the person to say, can we change it over to our name? Because they've been dead so long. Yeah. But, but that's normal because every time you do paperwork, it costs money. So they try and not do stuff that's going to cost money. Yes. Especially breaking up farms. Oh, that yes. we'll give that to Fred. Shake on the hand, change, exchange of a beer, and that's enough. Well, that's no good to us. And what kept confusing us was he kept saying the finger's too big. The finger's too big. It doesn't match this paperwork, but it should match this paperwork because you're paying your tax on it. The sumer Ibi, mm. you're, you're paying it. It's clearly yours. It's there in black and white, but it's not on this piece of paper. And every so time, your finger is too big. And every time he said finca, we thought of the little house, the little casita. Yeah. But obviously, a finca is actually a farm. He yeah. meant the when it, I had it in my head. He was talking about the building. And he was actually talking about the land. Yeah. So, sort of like the size that you're size you're saying. It's sort of like there's no way is it that big. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. So 
after this meeting, he's gone off to do some more paperwork and we didn't sign anything. Mm. Our fixer had to race off and then he rang me and he apologised profusely. He said I couldn't argue with him. He's a higher in the hierarchy than me and I can't open my mouth against him. It's just not done. He said, but the other day he said we'd draw up this new sort of paperwork and we'd get it all done easily that way. And no, we're going to have to go back to the old fashioned way of doing it. Yes. Which is what they're now going to do is try and get the land fixed. Yes. Once the land is fixed, we then do paperwork to get retrospective planning permission for buildings that have been here on the plans since 1900, permissions for them, for the buildings. And we're just going to have to jump through the hoops and follow the due process as it goes and see what happens. Well, that's it, yeah. He's, he alt to, he, the alternative, should I say, my mouth's not working properly, um, was that we just get the land fixed and ignore the buildings. Yes. Um, which is... No. No. <laughs> it's got to be right, hasn't it? Yeah. I didn't get that. The, the actual notary himself, so this official just went, well, just fix the land and, and just leave the buildings. Don't worry about it. Yes, and then further on, if you want to make any extensions to the property or if you come to sell at some point in time or whatever then there'll be a sale and then there'll be a new escritura and it's much easier then to change it, it at just, that point just be done yeah uh, well, we'll just do it then we'll just do it he said no 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 it's got to be sold or you've got to have another building but you can't have another building because your building size can't be regulated because these buildings don't it's exist but you can but you can't I know. and it's all crazy and we're just left there thinking let's all find a brick wall and just beat our heads against it yeah okay guys so so for the ranty ranty rant yes not yeah. a rant but a rant. long explanation yes yeah um normal operations should resume shortly i believe <laughs> hopefully <laughs> Yes. Enjoy the video. Yes. If you do, hit that thumbs up as always. Really appreciate it. Yeah. Comments always welcome below. Yeah, and apologies, this one is uh, a lot longer than our usual. Yeah. But hopefully you still enjoy it. Yeah. Bye for now. Till bye. Why have we ended up with this? Explain what's going on. Well, we looked at that side and we've discovered that the lintels also half rotten so I just chipped a bit of this away to see what was happening with the intention of hopefully leaving this lintel in place even though it's got this bit of thing here and we've ended up with a sandpit well it's all grown a bit a pile of rubbish down there yes and the height of the ceiling yes been doing some exploring didn't find any tigers or lions. Well, we did find that. Early moony. <clears throat> if I go to the other side. Oh, that's a door song. <laughs> okay, this dark bit you can see just here, that's canes. Bundles of canes running this way. This way. And we've just look. discovered there a wooden post or something going that way. Show which way again. Going oh. that way? Yes, sorry, the camera was too high up. Okay. So that's a piece of wood. Very, very rotten. If I can free it, there you go. It's like a sponge. Don't know. Don't know what. Obviously, don't know what sort of wood. It's just like a sponge. And it had woodworm <laughs> before it went in. There's woodworm holes. Oh, one yes. there. Yeah. And some more there. Yeah. So it's always going to be strong, wouldn't it? So they obviously had a problem here, and you can see by that bit of grey up over there, they've tried to pack it with stuff. And pack it and pack it and pack it. <clears throat> but they also have used clay roof tiles. They just packed it with stuff. Yeah. So down here in the rubble we've got bits of roof tile. Yeah, this is not secure. 
What is not so good, Ollie? No, it's not. So I've had yours and stood underneath it until I've cleared all this. Yeah, no, I'm standing under a winter, I'm fine. Thing is, we've got to plaster this, and knowing what we know now, if we change the mines and put a flat ceiling again, we know there's a potential problem there. We can't risk it. Just come. Because you don't know what's going to happen. When are we going to get back to solid? If we had a bump in the night, we know we've got a sunroof. Don't we? Sunroof. Oh, oh we'd love a sunroof. We certainly won't be staying or not staying here at the minute. That came down. Yes. And so does this bit, can we? There you go, that's another one from not doing anything. That's a big lump to take away, isn't it? It is. It's not beyond us, it's just when how far is it until it's safe? Yeah. Right, let's have a drink and come back to this. Let's tidy up some of this because so this is getting out of hand. Uh, we'll come back to it tomorrow. It's o'clock. Where are we? And I think we ought to uh, stop. What yeah. is it? Six. Six, yeah. Well, I've had an afternoon, haven't we? <laughs> That's somewhat of an understatement. <laughs> it's now evening, so we've had the afternoon. And it wasn't a very pleasant one. It was interesting. Mm, yes, it was. Okay, it's a bit of a stretch, that one. Yes. It, not impressed, basically. We have a problem. Yes. In we fact... Have, <laughs> we have a big problem. <clears throat> yes, we do. It's going to be a bit of a disaster, possibly. In fact, I showed... I took a little bit of video and sent it to Andy from Think Life. And uh, moments after he was obviously seen the video, he rang me up and said, are you guys okay? Do you need me to come out now? <laughs> and we said, no, it's fine. It's nothing we can't uh, overcome. We got this. Yes, and if it goes wrong, it'll overcome us a lot. Oh, it'll be fine. We're just, we're just <laughs> having a sunroof in the, in the caves. I always wanted one. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. But it's, uh, yeah. That's it. We just keep saying yeah because we're really bad at the, at the, at the, the language for this. Yes. Blue, 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 blue. There you go. That's blue. what wants to come out. It's like you want to say blue, 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 blue followed by a bit more blue because yeah. it's shocking, a big problem, and it's going to take a, it's a huge undertaking suddenly. And we thought, Cave 2, as we call it, was the lesser of the two evils. Yes. And we've subsequently discovered that it's that's not the case and you've also seen on the videos because our our theoretical four weeks so that's eight videos nine videos whatever would have worked out that we could have achieved a lot it's going to run longer unfortunately so we uh, hope it's not boring guys well obviously we're taking you along on the journey but, but we will try and find other things to interject as well because this is a big project Yes, it is. it's suddenly gone from just take it off and replaster to Oops. structural, just all sorts. Yeah, yeah. yeah. just uh, yeah. Okay. Yes. So, sun's going down. It is. There you okay. go. I've got a beer. I've My glass has gone warm now. I have to put, get another one out of freezer. I've I've run out of vermouth. Have you? Cheers, guys. Oh, you totally run out. Yes. You vermouth fish. Possibly. You're on that red wine now. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, guys. We appreciate you coming along on the journey. <clears throat> Hope you enjoy it. Send us any comments, as you know. We really enjoy them. Any questions? Yes. Because I don't know how much of this... I keep putting the camera in weird places when we're doing the filming to try and make sure that it actually transfers onto camera as to exactly what we're seeing with a real eye. 
So any questions, yeah. fire away, fire That's away. It. That's what we're here for. Yeah, hey, Mrs. Lady, what are you up to? I am um, just sorting through the almonds that we cracked the other day, and any, any that look horrible. I go in my belly. They're going to be a pain to blanch and then remove the skins because it's all inside. I'm removing them. Um, these almonds are going to be blanched, pot of boiling water, one minute, and then it's going to be time consuming again to squish them out of their skins. And I'm not allowed to do that, am I? Because last time I tried, I fired them across the room. <laughs> they were everywhere. Right, I've got my workstation set up. These are my almonds. This is my boiling water. They have to be blanched for a minute absolute minute maximum take them out of there put them in here and then be question of squishing them but i've got too many to go in one go so i've got a little workstation going there you go you see i'm not allowed to do that <laughs> not fair i'm not allowed to fire them across the kitchen so i can you can That takes a wee while, but sorted. We have blanched almonds. And look at all that wastage. Just all that skins. roughage. That roughage. Show me what a compost heap. Probably good for that, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would, yeah. I'm back down, all right. Yeah, one day. One day. So, leave these to, to dry off a little bit. They've got to be nice and dry. And then we'll start making pans of Marzi. Or oh, apparently it's called almond paste, you just told me. So I was just looking at <coughs> a recipe because I haven't done this for a couple of years. And apparently, if you take your almonds and grind them, not necessarily to flour, to very fine grains, and then add the icing sugar that you need to, it's called almond paste. To turn it into marzipan, you need almond flour, which is very, very fine, sugar and rose water. I haven't got that, so almond paste it is. Recipe says, put your almonds in, grind them. If they don't go sort of sticky, add a, a teaspoon of water if you need to. And then you add sugar, uh, sugar, icing sugar to taste. That's what I did last time, so we'll see how it goes. All right, that's the last batch going in. Take what, sorry? It's taken some time. Yes, it has. Poor little machine is really hot. And I've got this. This is a grainy texture. Reminds me of breadcrumbs. But, yeah, when you feel it under your hand. But. Ooh. Can you hear the oil? Can I don't you hear the oil? Pick it up. Yeah. Let me see the oil in my hands. Wow. Okay. Olive oil. Olive oil? Olive oil. I keep saying that. Almond oil. Yeah. No, don't waste it. I'm not. I'm putting it back into this. <laughs> so I'll knead this into shapes, stick it in cling film, and uh, keep some in the fridge, and the rest I'll keep fine in the freezer for no, no problem at all. And here's what made earlier. <laughs> you got this last Christmas from the, uh, wherever it was in, uh, what's the face? Yes, I got it from the face. <laughs> and, uh, now I'm making it own. <laughs> That's cool. Oh, this feels really, really hard. It's probably only any good for the bin. Oh no, it's still good enough to eat. It won't be as good as that one though. It won't be as good as this Because this okay. one's got additives in it. It will have all sorts of additives in it. It has. I'm going to have a look. I just need my magic hands. Definitely uh, a product. Is it lots and lots of ingredients? of this is almonds. That shop bought marzipan? 24%? Yeah. yeah. 
and then the sugar in it, glucose syrup and invert sugar syrup. And this is natural marzipan. Wow. One marzipan roll. Okay, doing the final sausage. Be that it all after dude. It's, like, it's a very long process. Well if you think about it, we lost lost two hours of our lives the other night taking the husks off. Right, my turn. Chuck the almonds in there, they're gonna be sweet roasted anyway, so it doesn't matter a little bit of mixed almonds and a bit of sugar. Salt, a bit of rosemary, and olive oil. Never done this before, so I just watched a couple of recipes. So I'm gonna try it. So it says just cover them in olive oil. That's what it says. Bit of rare uh, hosemary. On top. Now I need to mix them up. <clears throat> and they're ready to go. I like to do. There they are. <clears throat> I uh, will go down and check the coals. And hopefully, these will be going in. Definitely up to temperature. I've got one or two almond shells. I'm assuming they're not going to be in for very long. I need a lot of smoke, I think. Yeah, first point. Be even better if it didn't set on fire. It's no a good plan, is it? No. I've just stood by the door to the caves. It's like air conditioning in here, the cool air that's coming out. Is it? Right, they're out. It didn't take very long at all, actually. Still a little bit darker than others. Rosemary certainly comes through. Mm. Ah, just mix this up now. Don't put a spoon in my honey. Spoon. Okay, so this is honey. This is very special honey. It's this. We've had it a number of years. And it's uh, liquid gold. It is. On the island of Rhodes and we purchased it from a local producer on the island of Rhodes and it is thick and creamy and it has an amazing flavour it's not letting any go to waste no <laughs> We have had local honey from here and it is really, really good as well. Uh, got a cold beer in a frozen glass. <laughs> Apparently that's how you're supposed to eat these. So we're told by all the locals, yes? Yes. Oh God, that's cold. Good, you've got a sensitive teeth. <laughs> I'll have to try another one or two. Well, that works. I don't know as I'd use oil again now. Okay. I think 
Is enough oil in the, in the almonds? Yes. It's not need oil added. It's not need added oil. Okay. Definitely try that again, mm -hmm. but without adding oil. Yeah. And see how it goes, but really, really nice. Cool. Yes. Yeah. Mmm. Yeah. So I'd say it's a, a 60 40 pass. Okay, whereas the marzipan is also pretty much a, it's a 90 10 pass, you're not sure of the texture. Mm. But it's I'm used to it being more smooth. Yes. All in all, good job well done. Yes. Yeah.